In the prison system, they frequently tend to fight more with a forearm up with the intent to fend off attack or to try to pin you and to basically just run them through. There's nothing sophisticated or talented about it. It's ferocious and it works. A lot of people coming out of the prison culture, it's just sheer animal aggression. <laughs> There we go. I should know I can resist that. Look for the angle, look for the angle. There it is. Yeah, that was pretty honest attack. Rudy's seen some pretty hairy law enforcement over the years. I have dealt with a lot of prisoners over the years and street bandits, street thugs. They may not have a whole lot of martial arts training, martial arts skills, but they are very committed and very formidable adversaries. Bullets are gonna cause pain, bleeding, tissue destruction, and so on. All right, I guarantee you, your adversary is not going to fight as well after he's received three shots, you know, here, here, and here, as he did before. In the moment when you change structures is when someone is most vulnerable. Mental speed, how quickly you change your mindset, very important. But if I'm running off and he comes after me or I'm out of bullets, okay, now I got to return to this. Which is basically a dog catcher with a pistol. Yeah. Bang, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here, boom, there's a shot, boom. So, you know, get away from the range mentality. Get rid of him. Push him, push him, push him. Okay, get your gun, get your gun. Okay, beautiful. Good, now get out of there. Boom, yes! Right, if Mark really had a big old bolo and he was gonna part my hair with it, you know, I wouldn't be going like that. <laughs> right? Historically, every fighting art, and I'm not talking about a sport thing, I'm talking about battlefield stuff, history. Fighters train very hard to become as ambidextrous as possible. Switch hands, and you go right to being a left-handed shooter. There you are, and I need, to, I need to get my pistol out from here. I need to be able to get in here and pull this out and get in here and work this shot. Then when you do that, it usually turns out to be something like this, all right? It's not a full homie, it's sort of a half homie. And what this does is it creates the alignment that you need that you can get that metal and meat shooting. So what, what can you do? What can you do here? He's already made up his mind. I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna shoot right there. Okay? Your best bet is to not be right there. 